Welcome back to Everything or Nothing, I'm Frozen Treasure. Now that Bond has been hit with about 5 million bullets along with several rockets, he may need his skills re-evaluated in the training simulator. Bond, you can dispatch your enemies non-lethally with hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now there are only three things you can do in close combat, but thankfully it's enough to keep it from ever getting boring when you use it. You can punch guys five times to dispatch them if you have too much time to waste, or you can do the objectively better thing of throwing them to kill them in one hit, or you can counter-attack them to also kill them in one hit. Basically what I'm saying is that there is never a reason to use the basic punches at any stage of the game. Good job, Bond. Unless, of course, you see QC enough baddies to get power mode, which is the blue silhouette that makes your basic punches kill enemies in one hit. If you look up, Bond, you may find a good spot to use the repel. Excellent. Now simply run towards the wall and you'll be able to climb it. Repelling leaves our hands free to do many different tasks, most of them related to shooting guns. It's important to note that crouching behind cover does not velcro you to it like hiding behind a wall. It's also important to note that locking onto an enemy defaults the aiming reticule to center of mass, and so it's necessary to move it to hit enemies smart enough to not jump out of hiding like that middle guy. It also makes dispatching enemies with a slower or weaker gun that much easier. It's all clear, Bond. Keep moving. Here's where we learn about Bond Sense, which is a ridiculously overpowered ability James has in Everything or Nothing. It lets him practically freeze time, see what can be interacted with, and instantly aim at anything that can be shot with something. And presumably was named when the writer got bored one afternoon and started sifting through his week's worth of Marvel comics. Excellent, 007. Repel off that ledge, 007. Enemies seem largely unfazed by getting their kneecap blown off, though they do take their sweet time dying if you do so. I really enjoy how unique the cover based shooting is in this game in comparison to most current third person shooters. It's all about locking on to individual enemies rather than having a general aiming reticule focused with iron sight aiming that puts you at risk to enemy fire. This system may seem too easy, but recall that this was in a time when it was only Halo that had any sort of health regeneration. Call of Duty and Gears of War had yet to reshape the landscape of shooters where you went into every encounter with no damage. You will have to find another way around. It's never made expressly clear how far the rappel can reach. Now I don't know whether I was supposed to actually kill the enemies with the sniper rifle or not. It would seem that I was just supposed to shoot the thing that the big arrows are pointing at, but that doesn't kill them. It just makes that one guy lose the will to live. You can't stop here, Bond. Keep moving. He was giving me a funny look. be so bold, 007, this might be the perfect opportunity to try the spider bomb. And now we come to the second unique gadget of everything or nothing. The Q spider is a great little device for sneaking through vents and blowing stuff up. There are a few other tools it can get, but it's primarily a remote controlled bomb. Controls are a little tankish, and if it hits a wall it's a bit of work to get it unstuck, but it's still fun to move around. And I cannot stress enough how satisfying the sound of moving the spider along the floor is. Just listen to it scuttle around. Well done. You've completed your objectives. Now get out of there. And those are all of the main gameplay systems, save for driving sequences and stealth takedowns. There aren't a huge number of complex mechanics to have to keep track of. It has its three or four core ones that it makes excellent use of throughout the game. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, cover-based shooting, gadgets, and that's everything. Or nothing.